Hey everybody, it's Jasmine. I've been catching up on all the drama on YouTube about uh, James Charles and Tati. It's been really interesting because uh, obviously it started like last week and then now it's kind of just all come out and everything is kind of like, I think, cleared up in a way. Like it's become really clear what the issue is. Um, so I feel, I feel really bad for Tati because like, she's always seemed like a really genuine person. Um, and that's kind of, like, I think that that's kind of made her seem a bit boring in a way. Because, like, you know, James Charles, he's kind of like, I don't know. I, like, I haven't really watched him, so I don't really know. But, like, Tati seems really genuine and, like, a mother figure and really caring and stuff. And I kind of feel like that doesn't necessarily appeal to, like, a lot of people on YouTube because they want things that are exciting and stuff um, whereas she just sort of seems like a really real person whereas James Charles is more like um, kind of like a fantasy figure in a way I think you know like a young person that's obviously you know got a ton of money and um, yeah but anyway um, I think that Tati handled it really well and I also think that it's really good that James Charles is losing lots of subscribers because Often when things like this happen, the person that has done wrong, they don't really like face that many consequences, you know? Like it'll be a little bit and then they kind of just like bounce back and, you know, um, I think it's harder to do that in the beauty community. But anyway, I like, I'm glad that people are reacting to it because it's like, you know, there are people that keep saying like, oh, you know, everybody makes mistakes and stuff. But like, it sounds like he's like a really bad person you know like using his fame to kind of try and take advantage of people which is like a total you know like th that's what all last year was about was like saying you know we're sick of that you know no more uh you know no more using your power to like take sexual advantage of people and stuff and it sounds like he's just like trying to do that and it's like you know like just because you're you know you're gay and you're young and you're you, you have you know so many followers and stuff you can't <laughs> go around doing stuff that you know trying to pressure people and things like that and yeah anyway so that's why I think that it's really important that he faces the consequences because it's not like he's just uh you know done wrong against Tati as a friend it sounds like he's genuinely done really sketchy things that if it was you know a straight guy doing that towards you know uh, a female we would all be like well you know that's not okay you know <laughs> and you know that it's not okay uh, but for some reason he's been allowed to keep on doing it and yeah but no more hopefully not anymore anyway you know and i mean sure when he started youtube he was young but he's not like you know he's getting he's getting older and um yeah <laughs> at some point in time you gotta take responsibility for your actions so yeah that's what i wanted to talk about and now i have so that's cool i'm gonna go pick up my washing and yeah have a good night everybody hey